The weather is getting colder and the decorations are getting put out. Christmas is just around the corner. So I'm going to show you how to make a snowflake. Hello my friends, Rob here from Button Press Graphics, back with another video. And yes, let's address the elephant in the room. Right now, I am ill. So, yes, my voice is going to sound a bit croaky. I do apologise for that, but there is really nothing that I can do that I'm not already doing. But without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Now, in order to make a snowflake, it is a very, very simple process. And when it comes to the creative side of it, it really will not matter what you do. It will always be unique and unique to you. So first off, we need to come to the polygons tool. And what we're going to be looking at is the polygon right up here in the top left corner. And then we are going to pick our corners. Now the only rule for the corners is to make sure that it is an even number. So as you can see 16 that would be absolutely fine but you can go as low as 6. Once you have chosen how many corners there is then you come over to your canvas and while holding shift and control create one of them. Now, it really doesn't matter what size or orientation it is, as long as it's either straight or a single point at the top. That's all you're looking for. So as you can see, this is a straight line at the top. That will be absolutely fine. Now, we're just going to use this as a guide. So for this project, we're going to need snapping come up to the top right corner and make sure that snapping is turned on. Next, we're going to come to the pen tool. Now with the pen tool, we are simply going to hover around the center of the shape until you see where it says handle to object midpoint. That means it's going to snap onto the center of your shape. Then we come up to the top corners And that's us done. Now, if we come to our select tool, we can select the blue hexagon and just delete it. Now that we have our shape, we can simply just add and take away from it to create our section that we're looking to move around and create a snowflake out of. So first, I'm going to make sure that this is not just a straight edge. So I'm going to use the pen tool again and with snapping still enabled, I'm going to randomly create some peaks um, even something like that and then back to the start and with it selected I'm going to come to the select tool and we are going to hold shift, select both the shapes, and then we are going to go to path, union. Now, the next step is just to start cutting shapes with straight angles all throughout the sides here. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll catch up with you. And remember, there is no wrong way to do this section. And now we've done that section, we are just going to add some extra shapes going through the center. As long as these shapes don't overlap each other, you will be absolutely fine. 
So I'm going to go with some circles. And then once I've done that, I am going to just stamp a few into place. And now you should be left with something that looks a little bit like this. And now all we have to do is select all the shapes except this main shape. So I'm going to select everything. And then holding shift, I'm going to select the main shape to deselect it. And then with everything else still selected, I'm going to go to path, union. Now one last step, we're going to hold shift, select both shapes together, and then we're going to go to path, difference. Now, if I was to create another square and drop that to the bottom, as you can see, it is completely transparent. Even if I was to turn this one black, as you can see, all the holes were cut out. Now it doesn't look like much at the moment, but this is where the little trick comes into play. You select your shape, select it again in order to get the rotation handles. And then with this center axis here, we're going to click and drag it down to the very bottom. Now, once you have done that, the first step we need to do is we need to duplicate this shape we can right click and duplicate or you can control and d once you've duplicated and you have two shapes then you need to come up to the top properties toolbar up here and select where it says object flip horizontal now because we've already made the rotation anchor at the bottom when we select this shape again to get the rotation handles, you can see it is already there. So when we get this little handle here and we click to move it, as long as we are holding the control button, it will snap on to the increments, which I think is 15 degree increments each time. Once you have it, by the side of your previous shape you can let go then hold shift to select them both and you can pass union and the final step is using this shape we take the rotation anchor to the center point again and then we click onto the rotation handle, but before we move, we make sure that we hold control and press the space bar once to stamp that copy in place. Then we rotate until it matches and we press the space bar again and then rotate one last time and let go. And now you have your shape and it already is starting to look like a snowflake or a lot more like a snowflake and now if we come to path with it all selected we union it together it becomes one complete shape now in order to make this look more convincing as a snowflake you can simply change the color to maybe that kind of blue. I'm going to use around that shade of blue. I'm going to come down to the bottom left corner, hold shift and make sure I click the X to take off the border that was around it. And now I am going to come down to the blur. Now the blur can be found within the fill and stroke menu and if you haven't got the fill, or, fill and stroke menu open on the right hand side by default you can find it up at the top here. Once you have the menu open, 
blur it until you get to around 15 to 20 percent just until you start to lose the quality of the shapes inside then we are going to right click and duplicate but this time we are going to turn the blur straight the way down again and come up to the color changer to make it white and as you can see you have just created your very own snowflake now there are lots of other snowflakes that you can make in this way with this method and just by simply adding more corners to your base shape you can create shapes like this or if you get even more crazy and up it to 12 16 even 24 as long as it's an even number this method will work if you would like to share your pictures with me then please by all means do so and if you give this project a go i would love to see your attempts until next time i'm gonna go and give my voice a little bit of a rest and get some chamomile tea or something like that to soothe my throat if you would like button press graphics to create something for you a custom bespoke graphic then i can do exactly that for you just get in touch and we can have a chat about what you want but until next time i'm going to bid you all a fond farewell say thank you so much for watching and i shall see you hopefully in a better state next time <laughs>